Our TNT Championship match continues tonight live on Dynamite. Penta El Cerro Miedo, a commanding lead on the Rated R uh -oh. Superstar, uh -oh. the backstabber, the hook of the leg, and Copeland, not a lot of mustard on that kickout, Taz. No, no, sir. I mean, and Cope is really being tested. He is borderline defense. Well, he is defenseless right about now. Don't think that Penta can't win a singles title. His brother, Ray Phoenix, was international champion at one time. So, yeah, they're known as the Lucha Brothers in tag team action, but they are great singles wrestlers, and we're seeing why right now, guys. Well, yeah, and like, like Excalibur pointed out earlier during this matchup here, I mean, Penta is world-traveled, I mean, world-renowned. I mean, so world-class athlete. He could beat anyone at any time on any night. Well, but Copeland just intercepted Penta, and Penta goes down face first. Is this the opening that Copeland needs? Yeah, he needed an opening next caliber, but he can't really uh, follow up with anything right now. Look at this. Yeah, these guys are both down again. They're battling for the TNT title. How cool is this, man? You never thought you would see Copeland versus Penta for the TNT title, right, on live TV? It's crazy. Uh, a match, I mean, that, you know, four or five years ago, we never thought would happen. I mean, even oh. months ago, we never thought would happen. As Copeland, first to his feet now, looking to seize the advantage. Maybe uh -oh. think a sharpshooter here. Yep. Oh, yeah. Def oh, boy. Oh, no. oh, a little different version, yeah. a little modification. How about that? Down the one knee, extra leverage, maybe? Man, that's a, that's a big problem for Penta there. I like that modification. Yeah, Copeland wrenching down, but Penta making that crawl to the bottom rope to force the break. But the damage may have been done, Taz. Yeah, it doesn't take much now. An ankle lock here. I think the grip of that modified version, Taz, was on the ankles, right? The it pressure was. was. Yeah. Oh! Penta diving forward. Copeland was hanging on, and now Penta. Oh, brother. The stalling drop kick with Copeland in the corner. We all saw that coming. Nothing Copeland could do. The lateral press, and Copeland kicking out. Wow. And the, the attack of Penta all throughout this match has had the champion, Adam Copeland, fighting defensively the entire night. It's smart to challenge just truly keeping the pressure on the champion. Oh, Penta trying to soften Copeland up to open him up for that arm breaker. Yeah, but Cope, Cope, oh, Copeland Cope, Cope, moves the tables. Now the cross face is locked in on Penta. Penta, he can see the ropes, but he is just out of reach. Copeland has him anchored right Man. there now. Just grip and wrenches back. Great job by Cope right there. Really wrenching back. But Penta turns the hips, gets that boot on the bottom rope, Tony. Great move. That's a veteran move by Penta because he was in dire straits right there. Well, it's about Matt presence. Sure. Well, some people call it ring awareness. It's Matt presence is the proper term, in my opinion. You've got to know where you are at all times, especially when you're caught at any type of a hold, to utilize a rope to break the hold. Copeland sent over the top. The right hand block that Gaman Geary was not. Copeland tried to turn the head, but that may have made things worse for him as he slinks down to one knee as say? Penta comes over. No, Copeland, maybe he was playing possum there. I think he was. I think he lured him in. But, but look at look how wobbly he is, how Copeland is. Well, Penta's really been putting a hellacious beating on him. Copeland, could be thinking Death Valley Driver, maybe on the apron, maybe to the floor, but Penta with other ideas in mind. Oh, boy. Maybe uh -oh. Fear Factor, he's got the double underhook. No, Copeland to his feet. Oh, Penta goes into the turnbuckle, but connects with the thrust kick. Penta charging in the power slam on the apron. Didn't see that one coming. I thought Copeland had nothing left. He could barely hold on to the rope, but still was able to do the power slam. Perhaps a last ditch effort by the rated R superstar. Taz, walk us through it. Uh, it's a great rotation of the uh, quick hips right here by Cope. Even though you have not a lot of room to work with on that apron, man, it was well done. It was. A nasty impact. And we, uh, we were talking earlier about the ones that thud hurt the most. Yeah, that's a that thud. was a thud. That's a real thud there. Yeah. As Penta struggling up his, his feet. Oh! Oh, not Alex. That made my night. No, come on. Oh, that was sweet. Inadvertent, but sweet. I think 
I think Alex Abrahantes, maybe he took the bullet for Penta there. There's no doubt about it, and Alex, not surprisingly, is still down, but... Well, he did us all a favor, I'm speaking oh, for myself. Okay, but the match continues. Yeah, some people were booing when Alex got hit. I guess Alex is from West Virginia. Yeah, but Copeland, though, up to his feet. As Penta and Copeland, very dangerous territory, high above the ring. As what the hell is this? What's going to happen here? Penta... Hooking the heels underneath the arm. Oh, the cold red avalanche two, and Copeland somehow kicks out. Man, a second away from crowning a new TNT champion right there. Tony, the game plan of Penta has been to target the neck of Copeland, and that, that cold red, that certainly did. That was the best target yet, and now look at this. Taz. Oh, God, that, that was a great way to tear apart your rotator cuff, tear a bicep. And now Penta puts the leg and Copeland kicking out. Wow. He barely kicked out, guys. I mean, those legs lifted. There wasn't much in it, but enough to kick out. And I believe we may have just crossed the 20-minute mark in this match. Just under 10 minutes remaining as Copeland turns things around. Goes in and the spear. Oh, money. Uh oh two. The Rated R Superstar, Adam Copeland. What a match these two men had, both of them. Tremendous. Give a lot of credit to Penta on that. He pushed Copeland as no one has yet. Yeah, Penta, El Cerro Miedo, made the Rated R Superstar earn every bit of his second defense of that TNT uh, Championship. It's just, it, it was mostly Penta throughout this battle, as we know. But then that last second right there, Penta made a little error. He tried to do something, springboard off those ropes, and Cope saw it, boom, spear, and that was it. Yeah, great anticipation, great improvisation by the Rated R superstar, Adam Copeland. I mean, he, he is a phenomenal TNT champion. And, whoa, whoa. Well, now the lights have gone out here in Charleston. Well, you know what? We know what's coming up at, yeah, well, at Dynasty. Julia Hart, the TBS champion. Oh, but Brody oh, King God. behind Copeland. House of Black. Big man right there, Big Brody. This is after the battle that Cope just went through. And Brody King now. Oh, just oh a running boot into the jaw of Copeland. And Tony, that's right, it'll be House of Black versus Copeland, Mark Briscoe, and Eddie Kingston in 11 days' time at Dynasty. As oh, he's got that rear naked choke on him. Oh, but Julia Hart, what is she? Well, Wait Willow Nightingale. Willow Nightingale. She earned her shot at oh. Julia Hart and the TBS Championship last week. And look at this, Brody King pulling Julia Hart out of harm's way. And oh, uh -oh easy, easy, yeah, Brody, Brody, guys. Look, she got, she got that, that mist all over her face. Yeah, Julia had the, the mist loaded up. And now Brody King, oh, the low bridge. He goes over the top rope to the floor. And I think this save by Willow Nightingale may have been the last thing oh, yeah. that Adam Copeland expected, but a timely save nonetheless. There you see at the bottom of your screen. Copeland, Briscoe, and Kingston versus the House of Black at Dynasty. Plus, Willow Nightingale will challenge Julia Hart for the TBS Championship on April 21st.